गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल अस्सलाम वालेकुम असलम वरम्ल वर्क वी आर इन द सेम लेसन कंटिन्यूइंग पेज नंबर 45 सेकंड पैराग्राफ फ्रॉम द टॉप बट व्हाई डिड द ग्रीक्स मेक सच ए ह्यूज हॉर्स दिस वाज क्वेश्चन बाय द ट्रोजन्स टू द पर्सन वाज आउटसाइड द हॉर्स सम ऑफ द ट्रोजन्स आस एंड द कनिंग ग्रीक मेड हिज दिस रिप्लाई If they had made a smaller offering, you might have taken it into your city. Then the luck would have gone to the Trojans and not to the Greeks. That is why they made it too big to go inside your gates. That means this was the main conspiracy. This was the main plan that the horse should be taken into the city of Troy. Once the horse has entered the city of Troy, obviously the people inside the horse would be. planning it out and such a manner they would the city of troy would be attacked from both the sides inside the inside the city of troy and from outside the city of troy both ways because the greek had sailed away to a, to behind the mountain place where it is safe and sound in such a manner and it would be well versed that nothing could be there that means the person using his brain power his thinking power his adversary pause the told by the greek the cunning person is replying if they had made a smaller horse that means the horse you will take it inside and the good luck that was given to the sea god as sacrifice would come towards the city of troy and rather the country of greece in that manner but the greeks made it that made it huge so that the trojans will not take the horse inside the city of troy so that the good luck will be with the greece itself the greek people itself that is why they made it too big to go inside your gate that was the main reason that the good luck will remain with the people of greece it is obviously superstition it is all blind faith and it's all old traditions and customs it was just a conspiracy it was just a plan that so that the horse would be taken inside the city of troy and the people inside the horse would attack the city of troy from inside and that would be the main part where the greek people will obviously attack from both the side inside and outside the city of troy in itself the trojans were delighted to hear this obviously delighted happy merryful that the sea god will be happy with the people of troy rather than the people of greece and the good luck will rather being given to the greece it will be coming on to the good luck for troy in such a particular manner the greeks have gone they said and the walls are no longer necessary let us make a hole in the wall and drag the horse in that means the trojans started working in such a particular manner and the wall of troy the people were so happy that finally they said let's break the wall of troy because now the greek have disappeared have vanished have gone back have sailed away and now there is no fear there is no war going to be held once again therefore they said let's make a hole in the wall and let's pull the horse inside the city of troy let's drag the horse into the city of troy itself when they were all discussing this plan or this way of execution of breaking putting the horse inside there was a wise man out there that is a priest that is a father that is a pope or the reverend of the particular troy city he gave them a very good advice but if so that the advice was turned to deaf ears why deaf ears because they did not listen to this particular priest their wise priest warned them not to do so it may be a trick that will ruin us that means the priest was actually he understood the plan he understood the conspiracy he understood the wise trick of the greek people that it could be a real trick it could be something planned in such a way to ruin the city of troy to destroy the city of troy to put an end to the city of troy but but they were so excited that they paid no attention to his word that means they were so 
enjoying so merryful they were happy that they did not put any ears to the words told to them by the priest himself and then that was the main reason which succumbed to greece in such a particular way they built down part of the strong wall in order to drag the horse in now the wall was broken down obviously not the whole wall but just a part of the wall was broken in so that the horse could be dragged inside in such a manner and then the they could start rejoicing and the luck would come towards troy rather than going to the greece as they had given the sacrifice to the sea god all that day all that day the trojans feasted and drank and celebrated that means the whole day was totally celebrated as a grand festival as a great festival as a great celebration over the 10 years staying into their own house into their own city not coming out for business not coming out for trade not coming out for commerce not coming out for cultivation not doing any form of agricultural work in that way 10 long years is a very long or lengthy period of time and then when they found everything totally in a meriful manner in a happy manner in a gratitude manner they were really really happy to entertain and entertain themselves the gates were open the seashore was vacant the seashore was deserted the greece had burned their tent the ships was gone off and because of all these things they all celebrated with feast and drink that means they ate with merriment they drank with merriment and they celebrated with real pompous manner with real entertaining manner with real meriful manner and obviously after such a long day of entertainment such a long day of feast and such a long day of drinking they all went to sleep in a very sound manner dead sleep you can say they were all sleeping in a totally fatigued totally tired totally exhausted in such a way and they were sleeping soundly in a very tired manner but that day of rejoicing was soon followed by a night of terror and death the day was completed from sunrise to sunset with all entertainments with all merriful with all the gratitude with all the feast all the drinks all types of entertainment were done it was a real grand festival for the people of troy the trojans enjoyed themselves and they went off to a sound sleep but if so that the rejoicing came to an end with a uh, the night of terror and the night of death in such a particular manner the whole day they enjoyed themselves they went to sleep and they did not know that they will never wake up again the next day or in the morning itself because the horse had entered into the city of troy and there was a big hole in the wall and the greeks were out on the shore itself in the sea on the borders of troy and then it came to being that the wall of troy will the city of troy will be now facing the night of terror entertainment all during the day grand celebration all during the day feast and drink all during the day it was just one thing they did not follow they did not follow the wise advice or the warning given by the priest the pope the father the reverend of the city of troy and he said to them he told them that it may be a trick it may be a plan it may be a conspiracy but the people of troy 10 long years in a dead bound land in such a manner they did not listen to the priest they broke the wall of troy pulled the horse in and that was the main point turning point of troy facing death or facing terror by night and that why it is called the night of the terror and death for the people of troy any questions any queries any doubts any problem you are most welcome to call me you can chat with me yet you want to have much more knowledge you can write the same name of the lesson on the 
YouTube and see the drama dramas of it or the pictures of it, documentaries of such type of stories. If you have any doubts, any queries, any problems, you are most welcome to call with me, chat with me. I am available around the clock. Thank you. Jazakallah.